Okay, so you're ready to start trying out the mortars, but you don't want to do it in an actual match because you feel like you're going to team kill somebody. You can always use the firing range, but it's pretty dull and boring just shooting at vehicles on a flat terrain 500 meters away. We all know that's never what you're going to be shooting at in a real match of squad. Luckily, there's an alternative. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use some admin commands to test out mortars or anything else a little bit more effectively before heading into your first game. That way, you can verify for yourself that the calculators work and that you won't be turning your teammates into paste. So the first thing we're going to do is boot up the firing range, any version will do. Let's say we want to change the map to something other than the firing range. We can switch to any map in game with the admin change map command. Just type the map that you want and select the version with the up arrow key. Let's load into Fool's Road. Alright, so now we're here, we have to wait at main for the timer to go down even though you can't see it. There is a command which will speed up time, admin slow mo 10, I just did 10 because I want to speed up pretty fast. Now I'm going to grab a logi to build my mortars. It might require me to have another person with me and if you want to use something else that requires crewman kit, you might need to have crewman kit. So I'm going to use two commands to avoid these issues, admin disable vehicle claiming 1 and admin all kits available 1. Now I can use any kit that I want and I can get into any vehicle that I want. So I'm where I want to be, let's type admin always valid placement 1. This lets me build anything, anywhere, with no restrictions, no ground too steep restrictions or too close to main or not enough squad members restrictions, it's pretty useful. Just so that I remember it for later, I'm going to send myself the entire B-movie script using admin warrant as well. Let's build the fob, place the mortar, drop ammo. Alright, now let's get a target. How about there? Okay, I've got the calculator up. Let's put in our mortar location. Okay, let's adjust our mortar to what the calculator tells us. Alright, let's fire. And we hit. Yeah, that is all that there is to it, guys. To test out the mortars, you just need to use these commands. It will take you a minute to set up the fob, but I think it's pretty worth it because you don't have to mess around with joining a custom server that will crash your game instantly whenever you join in. If you've gotten this far in the series, I'm pretty sure it's been helpful for you, so I'm glad you're enjoying it, and I'll see you guys in the next part.